Hi, I'm Sarah Borders with Benefits Compliance Solutions. Recently, Congress passed and the President signed into law the Consolidated Appropriations Act of 2021. Now, this very large piece of legislation also includes the No Surprises Act, which relates to surprise medical and balance billing. Now, this has been a very controversial topic for many years in our industry, and this will actually regulate a couple of different types of services for emergency services and also for out-of-network services provided at in-network facilities. And what it does essentially is it allows the employee or the patient to only have to pay for these services as if it applied in-network from deductibles, co-pays, and co-insurance. And it doesn't allow the provider to balance bill this patient for emergency services or for those types of services that are included when they go to an in-network facility. So what this process will look like for an employer who sponsors a self-insured plan is the plan will have to negotiate with the provider, with the hospital or the doctor on the balance bill that would have been sent to the employee or the patient. There's a process set up in place for negotiation within 30 days, generally speaking, and then a binding arbitration process through an independent dispute resolution entity. So this is all pretty complicated and subsequent regulations will come out to kind of set forth a lot more of the details of this legislation, but it's important to note that if you have a self-insured plan, you will have to comply with this legislation by your plan year in 2022. So plan years on or after January 1st of 2022 will have to comply. Fully insured plans will also have to comply but that will be more towards the state level of things. And many states have already enacted uh, legislation related to balance billing within the state. So more to come on this. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks so much for watching.